Look, I either worked out really hard or I saw a ghost. Most of us struggle with getting stuck because here's what happens. What we experience, right? What we experience in the past, and usually it's um, traumatic, it's painful, it's confusing, all of that stuff, um, that gives us an imprint. So not only does it give us a memory, but it imprints uh, our wiring, it imprints our body, it imprints um, and grows our fear, right? So um, all we know is what happened, right? So it's this idea of thinking positive and trying to focus on what will happen is difficult because our body and our mind and our memory tells us the last time this shit happened, it was painful. And so I'm gonna protect myself. So what happens is we go into this, um, whether we know it or not, we're always protecting ourselves, right? So if something smells familiar, if we see danger or a threat or a possibility of us getting hurt, whether that's a broken heart or uh, being lied to or cheated on or something physical, right? We are going to protect ourselves. Now this protection, if we don't swim past it, is going to keep us locked in the past, right? And this is why I think it's so important to stop thinking about what was, because if that's what you feed, and naturally you will, then what will be, will be what was, if that makes sense. <laughs> what was is what will be, and basically um, you will be living in the past, right? And this is where people get stuck and nothing changes. So I think you gotta get obsessed with what could be instead of what was, and I know that's hard to do, uh, I think it's a daily practice. And when I say obsessed, I'm talking about stop feeding and dwelling on what happened in the past and start wondering, using the power of curiosity about all the things that could happen to you, right? Um, all the people that you could meet, all the shit that could happen that, that you don't believe can happen. Um, and then not only, not only thinking about and obsessing about that, but putting action behind those words so you set up experiences that create new beliefs, even if they're just little shifts, right? New beliefs that then um, start erasing the past and start creating something new and different. So it doesn't matter if we're talking about relationships or a career path. Um, it doesn't matter what we're talking about, anything under the umbrella of life, new friendships, um, new dynamics with family. If you're only gonna allow your knee jerk which is based on everything that's happened, right? Um, and usually it's a lot of shit and a lot of pain and a lot of hurt, and right? Um, if, if you're gonna allow that to be heavy and follow you, um, that's what's going to repeat itself. So stop allowing the past to cock block your future and start getting obsessed with all the possibilities of what could be start feeding that as a practice. So not just once, but every day get up and get obsessed about how today can be different. Get out of your head, get out of your house, get very present in the here and now and focus on everything that could happen. Believe it, put action behind it. Uh, and I think then things will start to happen. And they could be small things, they could be big things, I don't know. But I think that's how you start to write a new story. Um, if you don't put effort into it and you just allow life to happen, you will always live in the past.